Howdy folks from Long Haul. Uh, today we're going to be skidding small logs out of the woods with the snowmobile. Um, so we got the, uh, the the goat log cabin here that I built a couple years ago and uh, mostly small diameter balsam fir logs and then we've got a big pile of uh, balsam fir logs. We're going to make it a little bit taller because uh, we don't have goats anymore but we could sure use it as a storage shed. It'd be a little, little bit easier to uh, use as a storage shed um, if it were uh, taller. So anyway, uh, got a bunch of logs that are already cut and way down in the valley of our, uh, of our property uh, there, so about 70 feet down. Um, and man, it'd be a pain in the butt to try to haul them out on our backs. And there's like, I mean, making a road down there to haul them out with a truck or an ATV or something, which we don't even have an ATV, but if we were gonna haul them out with a four by four, well, it'd be, uh, you know, I don't know, we'd be having to cut down more trees and there's ruts and rocks and, you know, the, sm the, uh, the snow just makes it nice and smooth for the most part. And, you know, um, so I blazed the trail in with just the snowmobile itself. And then later uh, that same day hauled, next hauled a sled through there to kind of pave it and then let it harden up overnight and uh, now I'm hauling logs out like this one you see here so uh, this is just a uh, it was an old uh, door from a uh, you like a utility box uh, my friends salvaged and uh, welded some washers onto it they uh, cut and bent this part up so it's a nice sled there and welded this to reinforce it and uh, yeah, then some just some old uh, fence posts for a hitch, and yeah, that's uh, you know a bunch of uh, salvage junk turned into a useful log hauling device. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unload this log and uh, go get some more logs from the woods. Okay, I got that log uh, unloaded there, and I'm gonna go down the valley and get some more logs. Uh, I'm gonna take you with me. logs there imagine you could tell by that you could probably tell by the video that it'd be pretty difficult to uh, to get a uh, truck 
uh, down here. But uh, anyway, I mean, you can't even tell, but you know, we're also, uh, there's about two and a half feet of snow on the ground right now. So I'm riding over stumps and rocks and all kinds of irregularities in, in, the, uh, in the ground that the, smooth, the snow kind of smooths out. So if you think it's lumpy looking when there's snow, you should see it when there's no snow. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna load one of these logs up. Let's try one of the larger logs. The smaller ones I was doing uh, two or three at a time, but uh, this one, uh, this one is too big for me to lift by myself. Uh, I can, I like can lift, it's too heavy to lift by myself. I can lift one end at a time, but not really the whole thing. This was all made from just a bunch of metal I had laying around, pretty much. Keep a lot of metal laying around. It's a good thing to have. Okay. Now I'm going to try to flip the uh, camera backwards on my head and see if uh, see if it'll actually uh, you know if you can see what's going on back there. Here we go. There you go, uh, skidding logs with a uh, with a snowmobile and a sled. It's a pretty decent sized log there. I mean, I don't know. I guess I guess it's pretty small for a log, but you know, it's uh, I don't know, pretty good for a snowmobile hauling. Okay.